Okay, this video is just a quick introduction to harmonic series, which is an important series um, that will be useful to remember. It's the sum from 1 to infinity of 1 over n. Uh, so it looks like that. 1 plus a half plus a third plus a fourth plus a fifth plus a sixth plus a seventh, etc. Um, you can imagine this like a string uh, strung between two fixed points. That's the first harmonic, second harmonic, third harmonic, fourth harmonic. Okay, it's called harmonic because it has lots of applications in music, especially with stringed instruments. But you can see you can't have a three and a half. You can't have. Um, you can only have a whole number of waves, waving between the two fixed points, um, and it's got to be divided up in increments of one. So that's why this is an important useful series. So I suppose the big question now is does it converge or does it diverge? Well, let's compare it. Uh, what we know, first of all, is that as n approaches infinity, each term gets smaller and smaller so that un approaches zero. Or in other words, the limit as n approaches infinity of one on n equals zero. You can also see that in the graph here, yeah, given this is a function, not a series, but you can imagine the dots for each term of the series getting closer and closer and closer to zero. Uh, you can also see here that the series is positive. One n is always positive, so 1 on n is always positive. It's continuous, there's no asymptotes or gaps or holes there, and it's decreasing each term is smaller than the one before it. So because of that we can use the integral test, which is what we're going to do now. The harmonic series 1 over n is like the integral from 1 to infinity of 1 over x with respect to x. Um, that's an improper integral, so I have to use the limit of that integral. The integral of 1 on x dx is 1 is lin x, that should be an x there, and then we substitute in b and 1, that should be x there, and uh, we get lin b. Now obviously the log of infinity is also infinity, so this is a divergent series. We can also test its divergent to, by comparing it to another series. We're going to compare it to this one. Now, if you compare those two terms, one third is bigger than one quarter. And I'm thinking the other way, one eighth is less than a fifth, and it's less than a sixth, and it's less than a seventh. It's, um, it's uh, greater than an eighth. It's the same as an eighth. OK, um, so we can combine a few terms here. A quarter and a quarter makes a half. 4 eighths makes a half. And so this series that we've just made up is the series, the sum of uh, 1 on 1 plus n over 2. Um, that series is linear, therefore it's divergent. Okay, it just keeps growing, growing, growing. Our harmonic series is bigger than this. 1 third is bigger than a quarter. 1 fifth is bigger than an eighth. It's bigger, it's bigger than a divergent series, it's also divergent. So, the harmonic series is divergent. That's really interesting. It's interesting, especially when you compare it to these ones, which are convergent. And the alternating harmonic se series is also convergent. Okay, that's a little quick introduction to harmonic se series. Very useful. Hope you find it so.